Welcome back to Daytime. Well, coming up this Sunday, it is Earth Day, a day to celebrate all things green. And sometimes we think if you're going to make that green switch, it comes at a little bit of a cost. Well, you know what? When it comes to pampering yourself, you can still be very green. And that's what Erica Klutstra from BaseDraft.com is coming to talk to us about today. Some great finds that you've got that pamper us, and yet they, they've got this really nice green theme to them. <laughs> right. Yeah, when, when I was thinking of uh, Earth Day, and I think a lot of women feel they can't be green when it comes to being pampered, you know, jewelry, nail polish, everything. They don't think they can do anything. And so I thought, let's, let's go searching for what a woman can use to be nice to the environment. Well, the first thing any woman could use is a great big purse, a great big bag. And you've got a beautiful one there. I love this one, Erica. Yeah, this bag is a uh, willow from Susan Nicole handbags. They're, they sell vegan handbags. A vegan handbag. So, like, so I have this one here, which looks like leather, but it's not. Okay. Also, the inside of the willow was made with recycled plastic bottles. Oh, okay. So, the, so it's friendly that way. And then all the metal on it is made out of nickel. And then it's also, they, the company is based in the U.S., and they make their purses in the U.S., saving on shipping from places like China or anything like that. That does look like leather. Can I just see that for a second? Because it looks exactly like leather. And I have, and it, it feels like leather right. too. I have no idea. Do you know what they use for that? I, I, don't, I don't remember. I did know, but I don't remember. This is a purse I've had actually for two years now. It's my favorite purse. Yeah, I can tell lifting it up that it's, <laughs> it's well, it's got you've all got all your stuff, stuff in, in it. it. This is your actual purse. Yes. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. And so they're, de they're a designer handbag and you can, what, use a designer handbag and not be cruel to animals or to the environment. I'll well, and there's so many different ways to do that. I love the fact that you're saying that the almost plastic inside that they've got is made out of recycled pop bottles and that. And, and so often, I mean, a handbag isn't something that we necessarily think about green, you know, right. ways to make it greener. But obviously somebody has and put a lot of thought into creating these green products. Right, correct. Yeah, no, oh, that's fabulous. Uh, the next product you've brought around, and this is one that concerns me more and more. I have a daughter who just loves doing her nails all the time. But I read more and more about the chemicals and the toxicity of not only the nail polish, but the nail polish remover, and you start to worry about that. Oh, yeah. Well, that I actually found this because my daughter wanted to start painting her nails, and I didn't want her to use my nail polish, and I didn't want to use nail polish myself because of the fumes and my having kids and stuff. So I found this company called Piggy Paint, and they have tons and tons of colors, and like they have ideas online how you can paint your nails with it. And then they also have a fingernail polish remover, and everything is friendly to the earth, safe for your kids. My nail, my child bites her nails, which I still don't like, but at <laughs> least I know what she's swallowing isn't going to harm her. It's not toxic, right. at least to her. And it's funny sometimes when you read the list of ingredients on, on the fingernail polishes that actually provide that for you, it's bigger than the bottle is itself. <laughs> I mean, there's so much that they're packing into them and, and you begin to worry, even if you're not a nail chewer, just absorption or, or if it can get into your skin, if it can get into your nail, what that's gonna do to you. Right, exactly. So yeah. it's, you can pamper yourself be with your kids, have fun painting. If you have a daughter or another little child that you want to paint with and be pampering each other and do a little makeover party or something, you know that you're safe. <laughs> Absolutely. I have to ask about the fumes on this. Do you have the same there, sort of no, nail polishing no fumes smell. that you do? There is no Really? Like, it smells sort of like, like a paint, but not like fingernail polish. Like, I can paint and not go, oh, I gotta open a window. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being in a hotel room with a bunch of girls. We were at a hockey tournament and they were all doing their nails. And at one point, one of the moms said, You gotta open that door because we're all gonna be passing out in here soon. <laughs> right. And when you've got that much of a fume off something, you know, it can't be all that good right, for exactly. you. Right, exactly. Yeah. That that's a great one, and that's piggy paint. That's piggy right? paint. That's piggy paint. Uh, this next pamper product that you've brought with it, and it's in the jewelry it's mode, jewelry. which is beautiful. I have to tell you, I didn't even catch on to what it was. It was Jay that took a look at it and figured out what the the kangles are made out of. Yeah, this is. I picked uh, Pepsi cans because our family loves Pepsi and <laughs> Pepsi products. But they take any kind of recycled can. So, like, if you have like a can from Starbucks or if you like Coke or whatever, you like, they'll take a can and they'll make it into jewelry. Not only do they make bracelets, but they make necklaces and earrings. 
And for the month of April, they're having a campaign for Earth Day and every purchase of an Earth Day, like they have special jewelry made for Earth Day, will go to some kind of charity. Oh, what a great idea. So when you say, you know, you can take a can from Starbucks, or something, can you actually send them the can that you um, want up or see what they've got on yeah, their they list? Yeah, they have it all online. Okay. And I don't know, they might do custom orders. I forgot to ask if they do. But I know they do have those kind of things. Like, have variety, like tons. If you like something, they right. probably have it. If it's made with a can or a drink out of a can, they probably have it. See, and I, here I was thinking it was Rangers colors. You chose these because they're <laughs> Rangers colors today, Erica. Uh, the other thing that you wanted to point out that you really liked about this company, here's the, the shipping box for this. And if you take a look at the shredded paper in it, this is just, you can see the writing on it. Right. They've obviously just taken leftover paper that otherwise would might go into a garbage right. and shredded it and that's what they use as their packaging right. so yeah and i love that because it was re they not only reused cans but they reused paper and everything is recyclable i mean honestly if you don't want your bracelet anymore you can throw it in, <laughs> you your in the blue bin <laughs> there you go and you order another one and get but i love that idea these are great ideas and that's exactly what you do at basedraft.com you you find the coolest things and have them on your website and then do the review on it so people get a sense of what these products are about and some great earth day product ideas there and go to basedraft.com for more of erica's finds thanks for joining us Thank again you. i love the kangles i love the name of that back with more in a moment stay with us